What's going on, everybody? Your boy, DJ City Manos. And right now, I got the lights out. I used them last night. I did not record the lights because, um, oh, man, I had a little issues. Not issues, but, um, well, I'm always by myself, right? So, what I was trying to do, I put it on sound active. But what I noticed with this one, this doesn't have a sensitivity with the sound. Because I had this next to my speakers. So they were moving really fast, like really quick with the music. And I was trying to adjust the sensitivity on this. And I don't know if it has it. So I got to look into it. But let me show you a few things about these lights. Oh, here goes something. I had, this is the way this, this light was. You have to have power, right? This one has to have power because of this part. Because of the antenna. Uh, without the power, this won't work. And somebody asked me um, on my comment saying, oh, they're wireless. Um, this is only wireless with the power. They're not wireless DMX. So what I mean by that is you could take the, 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 the plug off and they're wireless. Um, you could put them anywhere in the room. But if you're going to use this antenna to send the signals over to the other lights, you need power. Um, and the way I have this configured... Is I have this plugged up in here because uh, this this light has an outlet, so I have it plugged up, but I still need power. Now I was thinking if I'm gonna do it like that, what I could do is buy a like a battery pack. It's called Halo, and the Halo has this outlet thing to it, so I could just plug it up. I could get a shorter cord. I could order one of these cords, like maybe a two foot or one foot. Try to find one, so it won't have a big long cable, and I could just have it plugged up to the Halo, and. That will give it power, and I can just place it anywhere in the room without worrying about power. Um, but I'm not going to spend 100 bucks for the Halo. I think it's about 100 bucks. I'm not going to do that because what I want to do, I'm going to hook up today. I'm going to hook up my DMX Go to them and see how that works. If it's compatible, if it works, if it's respond real quick like this. Because the uh, best part of 50 is it doesn't respond as quick. Like I've been saying, it's like a fade. It's stuck in a fade. And I'm, you know, I wanted to just like boom, but it's just like, whew. and then switch the next light. I mean, next color, whew. next color, like it's just blinking like a fade. And basically, to last night since I couldn't get the sensitivity to work, I'm gonna get the book out and see if there's a sensitivity. Since I couldn't get it to work, um, I had it in a fade. I had it like this last night. See, if you can see the monitor, you can see the reflection. You can see what the fade. Unless you want me to put the camera in front of it. But yeah, it had like a fade. I just set it up in a fade. Um, so, and then another question is, somebody asked me about these lights. So right now, I only have four of the, of the chingies and one antenna. So in reality, I could order one more light if I want to do it like this. So I could have five, you know. So I got one Donner. Or chingy, two and three over there, and I have an extra one. So if I do it like this, I could buy me another light because I have another chingy left. But the way I want to do it, I want my DMX go to control these four lights. That's why I have the other one. But if that doesn't work, then I will just order one more light because I have one chingy, one of these left, and I want to put it. I want to make them to go to work, make them to go to you know, put them to work. And then last night, another thing is what I didn't do the day before is loosen these brackets. These brackets are like little generic made. They're like, like, look, you can see it bending already. They're like cheap made. So I didn't loosen this. So I was like, struck, like forcing it to open up. I'm like, ah, so yeah, you could bend this if you force it. And I'm like, I don't want to bend it. So yeah, if I would have loosened this up the day before. You know, I didn't have a screwdriver, so I couldn't loosen them. So I just, like, forced it open. <laughs> I was like, oh, man. Yeah, so um, that's another thing is you're going to loosen these up a little. Loosen them up so you, you won't have to force them open. Because these things are, like, cheap. They're, like, they can just bend them real easy. Um, <clears throat> the battery life. I used them for six hours last night. I still got two LEDs left. So if I use them for six... I probably could use them for another. I got. I have to test the battery life, but it says 15 hours. Um, but yeah, last night I used them for 
six hours, and I still got two left. And these bad boys, I think, um, they're going to die pretty soon. <laughs> so I got to charge those up. Um, I got to charge them up because tonight I'm going to mess around with I'm going to hook up my lights, and I'm going to mess with it with my DMX Go. So, yeah, I got to look into the sensitivity. Go check it out. Watch this. Let's put it on sound active. So we have it on sound active, right? Look. But I want to change the sensitivity. And right here, you can't really see anything on the, on the, on the screen because um, it goes off. Oh, the cats are fighting. A fight, a fight, a fight. Two cats are fighting. Oh, one got slammed on the head. One time, I, I, my cats were, not my cats, the black cat was playing with the bunny. And I upload the video on, on Facebook. That's why I don't have social media. I don't have any kind of social media. And I just put killer cat, you know, fighting rabbit. They took my video down saying it contained violence. I said, have you watched the video? Did you watch the video? <laughs> and they say it contained violence. So after that, I said, I'm done with social media. Um, the only thing I have is, is YouTube, but they still censor me on YouTube there. I don't know why they censored me on the last video. The last video they censored me because the Halloween party. Because every song I played, I played it from the beginning on the video. I played it from the beginning and never I never do that. I always get it in the middle, somewhere like like um you know, like somewhere in the you know, I always show my transitions. And this time I didn't transition any songs, I just played it from the beginning to to end. And I was playing a lot of classic rock. <laughs> so that was like Copyright, copyright, copyright. But most of the time, I'm mixing stuff in, and it's like just a transition. So the transition really doesn't have much to go with. And I don't even. I just play like a little bit of the words, and I just cut the. You know, I just put like a little quick transition. But anyways, let's go back to the lights. Lights are great. If you want to do it like this for anybody who wants to use them for uplighting only, um, you need an antenna on one of them to make it the master. You got the power, but this has to have power all the time. If I unplug this, this is going to just die. Um, let's try it. Let's do it. Let's unplug it. Let's see. So you guys can see what I'm talking about. Let's turn it off first. Let's unplug it. Now I'm going to turn it back on. I turned it back on. The antenna. This light is working. This light is working, but... Oh, yeah, and here's another thing. When you loosen it up, see? You have to loosen this part or tighten this part up. Because you lose... I have it really loose right now. But check this out. See, there's no power going to this this uh, antenna. Or else it will be blinking. Um, so you need power. And that's why I was thinking about if I do it like this, I might buy me a halo... If my DMX Go doesn't work, but I have a feeling my DMX is gonna be fine. Let's put the power back in. You know what? Let me turn off first. You know, putting these powers in like that with the power on, you don't wanna be zapping things. You don't wanna be zapping. Another thing I did, I noticed when, when I was doing my, 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 um, my, cause I always like to check things, analyze stuff. Um, I like to analyze stuff. Um, here goes the battery. And this see the now has the light on. So now all the lights are getting the single, the signal. Even this one right here in front. You can see it reflecting off the, the monitor. Changing colors. Is it changing colors? No. Um, I look like it's not. Let me see. Supposed to be in uh, one. See, it's not on one. So anytime you have something like that, all these right here, I was on D1, D001, the, the, the DMX channel, whatever they call it. Um, so to fix that, you just hit mode, mode, sound. It goes, um, I'm going to look at that upside down. And it should be right, the next one. See the way it says A001? It's supposed to be D. And there it is. And then just hit enter. And now, let's move in with the beat. Oh, here's another thing. 
and the bug, remember I was telling you how to, I, I'm gonna disable the, the remote control because, let me tell you why. Let's say if you have the lights closed by like this and you from a distance and you change this to um, red. Okay, watch this. See what happened? I hit red on this one by accident. I said, no, I didn't want that one. I want this one red. Why is it not going? Oh. Let's see. I think I know why. Let me see. Oh, there it is, red. I don't know where the, the little thing's at to change it. Um, well, I don't see it on the top. I'm looking for it on the top. Might be in the bottom. Yeah, I think that's it. Who knows? There's a little light right here. I don't know, but there's a little thing where you change it. And this one, I couldn't get it. Look. Okay, so now let's say if I'm close and I change it. See? Let's say I want to change it green. And I'm right in the middle. See that? It went to that one. And this one. Okay, now I finally turn it green. So my point is, if you have them close by, now you put it back on sound active or, or a fade. You know, now watch this. These lights are working fine. And this, they're, they're working fine with that one, but guess what's going on with this one? Since I had the remote closed by, I hit it by accident, so now this one's stuck here. So you have to go back and change it to the um, D001 to the address. Because I messed it up. There it is, and then you hit enter. So now it's back, it's in, it's in sync again. <clears throat> it's synchronized. So to fix that, so you won't have the accident, you have to go to mode. As I'm looking at it upside down, but you're looking for iron. It look like iron, like you iron your clothes, but actually it's IR on. <laughs> and it's right there, IR on. Turn that off. Now it's IR for the remote is off. And then hit enter. Um, you're looking at it upside down, so. So now, you go back to uh, the address D001. And you gotta go look for it. That sound active. It's right after A, A001. It goes A and it goes D. And hit enter. So now, you can have this close by hugging each other and you change the remote and nothing should happen. I'm gonna change blue. And there's only this one gonna turn blue. Ah, man, it didn't do that. Supposed to be off. Let's see. Let's do another one. Oh, yeah, yeah. See? Nothing's happening over here. I'm hitting the button now. I'm hitting this one right here, and nothing's happening. But you come over here. See? It's still sync. So to fix that problem, you got to turn the remote off on this one and keep the remote on only on the master. Anytime they're close by. You know? And so now you hit the sound active still. I'll put it back on sound. Put it back on sound. I don't know if it's on sound, let's see. Nope, because I don't even know where it's up. There it is. See? So since the remote is off on that one, you're never gonna have an issue. See that? So you're gonna look at all these lights. They all changing at the same time. With this one, they're sync. Even this one, they're sync. You can see the reflection on here. So yeah, anytime you have the master, disable the remote. Cause I see some people on, on, on YouTube, I'm not gonna say any names, <laughs> but I see people on YouTube with their lights like all over the place. It's like, dude, um, make one. Well, I don't know if they have it like this with the antenna, but if you're gonna do it like that, make the master if they're close by, as they're far away. Like, let's say I have this one. Let's put this one somewhere else. I'm done with this. I just want to show you guys the battery life. So you have it far away, you don't have to worry about it. Just turn off the the the, the iron, <laughs> the remote, the IR. You don't have to worry about turning it off. So um, 
you have to worry about that stuff. So now, remember the metal one, I turned off the, the, the remote. Okay, I turned the remote off on the middle one. See, and they're going on with this one, with the master. Whatever the master do. So I could change it to red over here. And they all turn red. If I change it to blue again, they all blue. If I change it to pink, they all pink. The master, oh, I took it off sound. Put it back on sound. So the master controls everything and I had it like that but I had it on sound active but it was like blah 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 moving so fast like a strobe light and I'm like I'm trying to change the sensitivity down I'm trying to turn it down it was like like this like really fast and I couldn't turn the sensitivity down so maybe this one doesn't have it but anyways I brought out the the the, the, um, the, the receiver out the little chingy they call them donners well now check this out here's where the power goes in Here's what the power. Here's where the on and off button is. You have to stick like a little pin, turn it on and off. And right, right next to it, this little bad boy. And this little hole, there's a little hole in there. You have to stick a pin to change the, I guess it's channels. Let's call it channels. So this bad boy, you could set it into, into, I believe there's like five different channels, but they're colors, so they're colors. And right now I have it set to blue, I believe. This one's in blue. So all these have to be blue. And let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to turn off the power on this one, you can see. See right now they're green, and now they're blue because they're not connected. See, all these I have them all set to blue. They all blue. They all have to be in the same channel as that transmitter. I'm gonna call it channel, the same color as a transmitter. So the transmitter is set to blue, so all these have to be blue. And I think they have like uh they have red. That's what my, my DMX Go is set to red. Um they have pink. They have blue. I remember seeing yellow, and I seen um, cyan, and and dark. See right now, see that it's blue or cyan, or some color blue. You can see it right there. They have to be set to blue, and all these have to match. So when you match in your antenna, when you first buy these bad boy, I think they're all set onto red automatic. Cause I think red is the best channel. But if you have all kind of issues with red. Switch it to a different one. You just stick a little stick in there, a little, little pin, a <laughs> little stick. You stick a pin in there. I think it's in this one right here. You stick a pin and you change the colors. I should change it to show you what I'm talking about. So you stick a pin right here. Hold on. I can't do this with the... Hold on, let me put the phone down so you guys can see. Okay, I'm gonna stick a little pin in here. Watch me get zapped. See, now it's cyan. And those are not gonna connect no more. Those other lights are not gonna connect because I changed the color. White, red, green, yellow, blue. I forgot what color I had it on. <laughs> Pink. I think I had it on this color. I think I had it on this color. So let's turn the power back on and let's see if it connects. <laughs> nope, the other one's not connecting. <coughs> so to fix that, you just have to keep going down the list. Let's see. I think it maybe was dark blue. Let's turn off the power. I think it was dark blue. I should have. I should have looked at it. Oh, it should have been that color, that blue. I'm gonna do dark blue and see what happens. Let's see. I'm looking at the lights right now, see if they connect. Yep, it was dark blue. <coughs> so was, I thought it was light blue, but now they're dark blue, see? Now they're connected again. And the same thing with these, they have them in there. So this is the off button. 
this is the power button where you plug up your, your power, your AC. And this is a little hole in there where you could change the channels, the colors. And you just got to stick a little pin in there. A little small pin. Um, something that could fit in there to change it. You got to be careful with those because uh, you want to be zapping stuff. <laughs> Hitting the board. So um, I got to change these all these to red to m match my DMX Go. I believe my DMX Go is set to red. And that's another thing. That's the reason why they make them different channels. Because um, if I had this on red and my DMX Go is red, there's going to be a conflict right there. You know? With my DMX sending the signal, they said, hold up, hold up, hold up. Something's going on here. There's a conflict. Now, here's another test I want to do. <coughs> here's another test. Since this is um, set to blue, I'm going to plug this up to my best par 60s. And I'm going to make the best par 60s as my master. So this, so this is the way I'm going to have it. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me draw it out. I don't want to get people confused. I don't want to get people confused because, you know, you know your boy DJ Seti Models. Here's my DMX Go. DMX Go. And it's in the signal to my lights. You know, it's in the signal to my lights. All my lights. So it's going to send it to the best par 60. Right, it's gonna send a signal. Like if I change the the color to this red on my DMX Go, if I change it to red, it's gonna send a signal to this one to make it red. Now here, I'm gonna hook up this antenna. So now this one has an antenna. I don't know how you do an antenna, but it has an antenna. The antenna hook up to this one like this, but this is a different channel now, or a different color that. Is, is blue and that's going to send that signal to all these other lights I'm going to try that out and see if it works so that's going to send a signal there shouldn't be no conflict and it's going to try to switch all these so if this is red now this make it red the antenna the out is going to send a signal to my input then these lights so it's going to make the rest of the lights red you know I don't even know how to spell red. So it's going to make it red. So now, now if I put this on strobe, it's going to send a signal to this light to make it strobe. It's going to send it to this. The antenna is going to send a signal to these other lights to make it strobe. I'm going to try that. If it works, I don't have to install the new fixture on my DMX Go. And I could just always take an antenna with me and plug it up to one of my lights. You know, anyone. I could plug it up to my uh, moving head. Uh, anyone that has... Um, I'm going to try it. I'm going to see if that works because the way it's supposed to work. Hmm. I'm thinking it might not work. It might not work. Let me tell you why. I'm going to try it out. I'm going to see if it works, but I'm, I have a funny feeling it's not going to work. And I think I know why I'm, I'm using my, my logic and I think it might not work because the best part 60s, um, there's a, a, a switch on the back that you could use it for DMX cable or wireless cable or wireless DMX. And I have it set up to wireless DMX. So this, basically, you plugging it up is like a cable. You're plugging it up. So if I have the, the, the cable disabled, I don't think it's going to work. I'm going to try it out and see if it works. But if it works, I'm golden. I don't even have to add these fixtures to the, the, the my, my, my DMX. I don't have to add them. But I am going to add them because I'm not going to take these. I'm going to take these lights more now to my gigs, especially when I'm the one my, uh, my, 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 my best part 60s doing all the load. I'm just going to give them a rest and bring these bad boys, you know. I might even get another light because I have an extra downer if I do it like this this configuration with these lights like that. So and then if you're wondering why I have tape on him, because of the same reason of the channels. I have tape on this one. I had two of these antennas, so now I'm getting confused. So I know this one belonged to that one. You know? 
So this is your boy, Gigi City Manos, and I'm out. This is a long video, and I just trying to explain my logic, my madness. A lot of people always have questions, and you guys have good questions. And a lot of people are new to this DMX and stuff. I'm new to it, too. I'm new. Um, I just been doing DMX for two years, I believe, when I first bought my, um, my, I bought some other, like, some J Max, and I ain't like them, so I ended up selling them because the battery only lasts, like, two hours. But, like, come on, man, I need something longer than that. I don't want to have them plugged up. I want them wireless. See, they're wireless. They ain't got no wires at all, nothing. All these lights are just sitting there with the little chingy hook up to them. Yes, I know people are going to say the chingy is awful looking and it looks terrible and they don't want the light, you know, reflecting on that. So, face it to the, you can either face it to the wall, get it out of sight if you want. But I don't trip, people don't even trip about stuff like that, you know. A lot of, I think the DJ trip more over stuff like that than the people do. And what I mean by trip, you make a big deal out of it. You know, people make a big deal out of it. Ah, these little um, green light. They want, like, who's actually staring at the light saying, Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That blinking light is really disturbing me. Oh, my goodness. It looks awful. I mean, who looks at that stuff? I'm at a party, and I see a light on the ground. I say, oh, man, there's a light over there. Let me make sure I don't kick it by accident. That's what I do. I don't be, like, looking at it and saying, Oh, my God. That blinking light in the back, it has me distracted. Oh, it's driving me crazy. Somebody put some tape over that light. Please, put some tape. I'm going to kill myself. You know, it's like the wires, wire management, your wire management. Oh, my goodness. I like, I'm looking at, at people saying, for real, <coughs> if anything, I'm going to be honest with you. The wires looks, to me, as long as they're nice and, and neat, you know, to me, like, let me show, show you what I mean by neat. If I'm at a party, people are going to complain about this. The wire management. Oh, the wire management. In my opinion, if you have them nice and neat, see, look at this. Let me show you what I mean by neat. This is my computer, my work. They're wrapped up. Everything's nice and wrapped up, except this one, because I have this one plugged up to the light. You know, nice and wrapped up. Yeah, they're out, visibility, but they're, cl they're clean. For me, that's, all, that's what it matters. I never had one client. I've been DJing for 35 years. I never had one client that come up to me and say, uh, excuse me, Mr. DJ City Manos, uh, this looks awful. Can you cover it up because it's driving me crazy? And, I mean, look at this elegant place. It looks so beautiful, and your wires look awful. I never had that once. I never had one person come up to me and say that. Been DJing for 30 some years, never had one person complain about, oh, that little light, oh my god. I think it's DJs are tripping. DJs are, 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 are suffering, over, suffering from uh, OCD, you know? They're probably tripping off this box right there. Why do you have a box in your living room? Get that box out of your living room, oh my god, it looks so awful. Like, why do you have a piece of paper right there? You know, it's like a, um, like a scientist. Have you ever seen a scientist? Um, I call them, that's why I say mad scientists. When I always uh, say I'm going to talk, explain about my madness. If you look at the scientists, they have papers everywhere. Like, because they get an idea and they're like, oh my goodness. O a over Z and then they're driving and they just have papers everywhere on their desk. That's a mad scientist. They know exactly what they're doing. All that madness, ignore the madness. They're some smart people. You know what I mean? And that's what I'm saying is that a lot of people trip over wires. They just make a big deal out of stuff like that. You're like, dude, the wire's not even bothering. For me, it's about safety. The wire is not a trip hazard. You know? Um, yes, I'll tape it. I'll keep them neat, nice and neat. But sometimes there might be a one little wire hanging at a place. There might be a Velcro that's orange and people make a big deal. That orange Velcro! Why you pick orange? You know? Uh, this one has black, but I have some that has orange. Um, oh, there, there it is right there. Orange Velcro. <laughs> you know? Yeah, maybe I ain't got a black Velcro and I got an orange now. You know? That's the only one I got. <laughs> People make a big deal out of things. Anyways, this is your boy DJ City Manos. I'm just ranting. 
Um, you guys have a good one. I'm gonna hook up my lights, bring in my equipment. I had a party last night. I didn't record my party. The reason why I didn't record my party. See, that light don't look right because it's off the wall. The reason why I didn't record my party, because, man, I hate to say it, but it was a dud. That lady had like 10 tables, and each table had like maybe eight chairs. So 10 times eight, she was probably expecting a lot of people, 80 people. And only like three tables got filled. So maybe 20 people showed up. They ate and left. By 9 o'clock, there's only like one table left out of the three tables. And then out of the one table, they're just chilling. And I was like, oh, my goodness. That's why I didn't record. So bad for that lady. But that's what happens. There's always all kind of events happening. It could have been like five parties, a quinceanera, a wedding. And everybody's all over the place. She should have put on there. DJ said it going to be live tonight performing. And they would have been packed. Packed. Internationally known, baby. DJ said I'm out. Peace.